بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم 5090 او لیول بائیولوجی نومبر 13 پیپر 11 question 22 to 40 video 2 important that you read this you can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending ending what result day you can work hard today in these last few days before the exams and change your result The students getting a B can go into an A, but students getting a C can go into a B. So please remember that. It's not always the A's that matter. It's if you can improve the grade that you're presently getting. To question number 22, the diagram shows a section through the eye. Uh, I'm sure everybody is very well aware of this. So one is the retina, two is the blind spot, and four is the ciliary muscle, and three is the point of the iris. Now, the question is slightly technically, they've changed the question. The previous eye questions were a little easier. Now, in this thing, the pupil reflects which row gives the sites of the effectors and receptors. Receptor is which is the part of the eye which receives the information. Like when you touch something hot, which is the part? The skin is the part where the receptors are present. And you can say, oh, my God, this thing is very hot. Now, where are the receptors? The receptors can only be the retina. The receptors are only in the retina. Retina is the one which receives the light, which receives the information which the light is giving. So this is what you have to understand is the retina would be the part. So receptors would be in the retina. So that leaves you to A and C. Effectors, effectors means pupil reflex. So the muscles of the iris, the motor neuron from the brain will be going to the muscles in the iris. So the circular muscles will contract if it's bright light and the radial muscles will contract if it is darkness or dark areas where you're entering a room which is all dark and there's no light there. So effectors would be in three. Effector means the muscle. The muscle, you see effectors are what? Effectors can only be two things. Muscles and glands. So I give you one or two examples. One example is you smell something very barbecue and somebody doing a barbecue. And so the receptors would be the nasal area where you can smell this. And the effectors will be the salivary glands, which will produce saliva. Here, what was happening in the pupil reflex, the retina receives the light the information about the light and the effector would causes the muscles of the iris to contract and the pupil becomes smaller. So, I mean, only the student who knew that would under, be able to do this. Otherwise, I mean, you probably high level changa. Question 23, in a person suffering from diabetes mellitus, how do the concentration of glucose in the blood and the urine differ from those of a healthy person? Urine contains no glucose in a healthy person. The answer to this was A, which is glucose concentration in the blood would be, of course, higher because no insulin is being released. So glucose will be high in the blood and uh, in the urine also it will be high. Normally in a normal person, there is no, there is no glucose in the urine. Even if you eat a lot of sweet stuff, even if you eat 10 bars of uh, Toblerone, but nothing's going to happen. Of course, it depends on the size of the bar of the Toblerone. So please remember that. Okay, now question 24 is a nightmare for some students. Uh, a local anesthetic is a drug that is used to block nerve impulses. The diagram represents part of the nervous system X, Y, and Z show sites where the anesthetic can be injected. X is the sensory neuron. Y is the motor neuron. And Z is the spinal cord. So Z is the blockage in the spinal cord. Now, if you know the functions of sensory motor and the spinal cord in the brain and how the connections are made, only then you can do this question. In an experiment, one person can feel a pin prick in their leg, but they cannot move their leg. For the move the leg, you need a motor neuron. And the motor neuron has to go to M, a muscle. So the motor neuron has been blocked at Y. So the blockage is at Y. Because the motor neuron is the one here. This is the motor neuron. It's coming out here. And this is going to a muscle. So the blockage is somewhere here. Where the person cannot move their leg. 
so that means the information which has gone to them the pin prick they can feel so that means the spinal cord and the brain are intact information has gone to the brain the brain is sending impulses through the motor neuron but you have applied a anesthetic at y so the person cannot move their leg so please understand this and uh, you have to be really clear to understand this then coming on to question number uh, 25 now, question 25 is chemicals in tobacco smoke lead to the breakdown of the elastic tissue in the walls of the alveoli. Now, these are the alveoli. Lots and lots of alveoli, like a bunch of grapes. And they, what happens is when you inhale, the elastic stretch and then, of course, they recoil. So it says, what is the name of this condition in which there's black breakdown of the elastic tissue? So the breakdown of the elastic tissues occurs in emphysema. And all this becomes one big alveolus. And of course, there's decreased surface area for gas exchange. Then coming on to question number 26, the table shows characteristics of the microorganism. Oof, this is a very common problem that you all have. You don't understand microorganisms. I don't know why. Which one could be a virus? Now, let's look at a virus. A virus has only and only DNA. It is non-cellular. Virus is non-cellular. I keep on saying this in so many videos. There is not a cell. Why? Because it just has a protein coat and it has a DNA or an RNA strand. That is it. So, which one could be a virus? It could be a virus contains DNA contains one or more cells contain one or more cell nuclei and viruses do have DNA and some have RNA so it says it says here of course there's no other choice available because it, it is number one is not a cell it does not have a nucleus it does not produce spores so the crosses are only in this the crosses are only in these three and then this one was the only choice which was available to us. I disagree with this of course because you see it can contain, it does contain DNA but there should have been a tick here. But it's a cross here so because there are some viruses which have DNA and some viruses which have uh, RNA. So that was the only choice I would have also, uh, but the fact that I knew there weren't cells and that was the only cross was in uh, A. So that is how you had to say it was A. It could that sort of a question which they were just tricking you into. Seven. When bacteria act on milk, which row describes the formation of yogurt? The substrate is lactose, the product is lactic acid, and the pH is lower. So that was the only part which was correct. Yogurt, what happens in yogurt? We add bacteria. Bacteria release enzymes. Enzymes act on the lactose. The lactose is converted to lactic acid. This lowers the pH. This causes the protein to coagulate. 28. Which process increases and decreases the amount of carbon dioxide in the air? Process causing increase in carbon dioxide has to be respiration. So respiration of animals and decreasing is photosynthesis in plants. That was a basic, very basic uh, question, but I mean, a majority of students got this wrong. And it says uh, less able candidates believe that plants absorb carbon dioxide for use in respiration. I mean, they're less able, yes. They're more able, less able. I say less able and nothing but chungas. Question 29. The flow chart shows part of a food web in a field. So there's a plant, there's decomposing plant matter, the earthworms, moles, wood love, spider. Which disc what describes both the earthworm and the wood louse? So the earthworm is eating the plant matter. So it says which what describes both the earthworm and the wood louse? Consumer and herbivore. They were both primary consumers. They're eating the plant matter and the both were herbivores. So that was the answer to that. Then coming on to the next question. Question 30. The diagram shows part of the nitrogen cycle. Which arrow represents the action of the root nodules? Bacteria of leguminous plants. Now what do they do? They actually convert what? The nitrogen gas in the atmosphere to nitrogen containing green plants. 
you see the only thing you have got to understand is that which arrow is coming out of the nitrogen gas in the atmosphere that has to be either lightning or haber process or leguminous plants and there was only one arrow coming out of it all the other arrows are coming back to it now this arrow which is nitrates to nitrogen gas was the denitrifying bacteria which are the enemies of farmers so you have to understand which one is which decaying organisms to ammonia then nitrites to nitrate as this was nitrification so unless you know the nitrogen cycle only then you can do it otherwise you'll just have to do i mean guess work question 31 one method of preventing malaria is to reduce the number of vectors the vector for malaria is the female anopheles mosquito and not all mosquitoes again this could come in an mcq only some very specific species of mosquito so which method could achieve this cover the area of standing water to prevent mosquitoes from laying eggs yes we going to reduce the number of mosquitoes because mosquito lay eggs on stagnant water and that is where the eggs hatch out and the larvae develop and then the pupa develop in the water and then of course the adult mosquito flies off so if you know the life cycle of mosquito only then you can do this question so you cover the area of standing water wherever after rain there's a lot of stagnant water the mosquitoes lay their eggs in it that's why after rains uh, malarial cases increase then question 32 the graph shows how the ph of a lake has changed in the period in the period 1580 to 2000 ad what could have caused the change in the ph over the last 100 years now what has happened to the ph You see, pH is six point five. It was six point five here, and it has decreased here. So it's somewhere now five here. So the pH has decreased. So first of all, what was the change? Was a decrease in the pH. So burning of fossil fuels in factories results in oxides of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide. Now all these dissolve in the water and form acid rain. so ph of the lakes has decreased oxides of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide resulting in acid rain this was not clear to a large number of students then coming to 33 the diagram shows an experiment to find out if seeds need oxygen to germinate seeds need oxygen to germinate factors necessary for germination are three temperature water and oxygen is the rubber bung the soaked seeds there's a water bath and solution to absorb oxygen is in x and y we have uh, water what ch which change could make would make tube y an effective control because both of them have the soak seeds both of them have uh, are in a water bath both uh, they have a rubber bung as a rubber bung the other doesn't have it so you close tube y with a rubber bung why because in a control it has to be exactly the same the experiment has to be the exact replica has to be an exact copy and then you remove some chemical in which you have actually in one you have used a chemical which absorbs oxygen in the other you have water so it's going to be complete if you added the bung to it that was difficult many of you didn't figure this out many of you were unable to realize that you know an experiment a control is an exact same experiment but with something missing the main cause missing or if it's enzymes you boil the enzymes if it is photosynthesis then you have light no light but the experiment the whole experiment is exactly the same question 34 the diagram shows part of a flower after it has been pollinated which row correctly defines identifies one of the labeled structures four was pollen grain two was the uh, fruit now it's a fruit it has developed into a fruit or it will be the testa but fruit wall ban jayega one is the sepals three is the inside the ovule so which row correctly identifies one of the label structures so one was the petal which was wrong one is the sepal it's not petal definitely is the green parts which protect the flower in the bud stage revision two was the seed no two is not the c two is the outer wall of the it become the ovary wall but it is at the moment if it just got seeds and it's going to uh, is the 
ovary wall and the seeds would be the ovule become the seeds so three is the ovule which will become the seed later on they could even ask you this question what will this become so uh, the one is the uh, two is the ovary wall which will become the pericarp or the fruit wall and three is the ovule which will become the seed and this part will die the stigma and the style will die wither off and die when the pollination and fertilization has taken place then coming to question number 35 what is the result of cutting both the sperm ducts in a man sperms are not emitted from the urethra naturally what is going to happen when you cut the sperm ducts the sperms will be still made in the testes but they will not enter the urethra and they will not be deposited in the female tract so the sperms will not go and fertilize, so no pregnancy will take place. The diagram shows a section uh, through the female reproductive system. X, Y, Z. Z is the uterine space. X is the ovary ducts and Y is the ovary. During pregnancy, where does mitosis occur in the cells of the embryo? in x and z you see once pregnancy has taken place when we're done with the ovary the ovary just results in the ovum being released from here the ovum is released into the ovary duct and then the sperms are deposited in the vagina and then these sperms travel all this way and fertilization takes place here and once fertilization has taken place then the zygote is formed and this zygote now is going to travel here and the zygote is going to divide by mitosis and form a ball of cells and then it's going to come and implant here. So where does mitosis take place? X in the ovary duct and Z inside the uterus is going to develop into the fetus here. It's going to grow. So I hope everybody is clear on this. Question 37. Some genotypes that occur in blood groups are given. Which genotype results in a phenotype that shows co-dominance? Co-dominance means when both show their effects. So that was only IA and IB. You see, if it is IO, IA and IO, this is not co-dominance because it is blood group A. But AB, this is blood group AB. So both are showing this effect. So co-dominance is when it is IA, IB. But it doesn't mean it's heterozygous. Yes, these both are heterozygous. This is also heterozygous. This is also heterozygous. But then this is co-dominant because the blood group is AB. If we said in this situation blood group is A, then it means B was recessive. But then we've written it with a capital letter. Question 38. A human cell contains all of the following. What is the smallest in size? Gene, nucleus, X chromosome, Y chromosome. Gene is a portion of the chromosome. A portion of the chromosome is a gene. That's the smallest structure. If you don't know that, it's just like I always say chromosome is made up of DNA. So the chromosome, if you looked at my videos, chromosome is your bio book. Right? The pages, here, sorry, pages on this side. Pages are DNA. So your bio book is made up of pages. So chromosomes are made up of DNA. And then you have chapters and the chapters are gene. So the bio book is the chromosome, the pages are DNA and the chapters are gene. So it's a portion of the book. It's a portion of the chromosome. So I hope this is clear to all of you. Question 39. The allele for white flowers is recessive to the allele for red flowers. So that means red is this. And the white flowers are this. So these are the white flowers. And these are the red flowers. So the allele for white flowers is recessive. So they have to be homozygous recessive. And the red flowers can be this or they can be this. Because it said red was the dominant trait. This was in the question. Which statement is not correct? Red flowers are always heterozygous. Rubbish. Red stars can be homozygous dominant, can be this or this. So, which statement is not correct? This is correct. White flowers are always homozygous recessive. This is correct. 
Crossing the heterozygous will produce three and one. Yes, that is correct. An allele for red on the genotype will always be seen in the phenotype. Yes, because it's the dominant trait. You have to know the genetics chapter to be able to do these questions. Otherwise, I'm sorry, you won't be able to do any of the questions on genetics. Question 40, what is the result of natural selection? Now, if you look at all the other examples are examples of artificial selection. Dogs that are friendly to humans, you breed these dogs which are docile. Because we want doc docile. We want docile dogs, we want docile cows. And some parents want docile kids. Some teachers want docile students. I don't want docile students. I want good students who can question, who are always very truthful. So be grapes that contain no seeds. Again, artificial selection. One kilo of grapes will cost 500 rupees, while normal grapes will cost 100 rupees a kilo. Artificial selection. I always say human benefit. I always say human greed. And the onion crops that have a pleasant taste. Yes, sell more. Lots of people will buy those onions because they taste better. So they will taste better in the fruits and they make all these different foods and these, all these foodies people buy these onions. So you gain human benefit. See mosquitoes that are resistant to insecticides. Well, that is nothing. It's no human benefit. It's just that because we keep on spraying insecticides, so they become resistant. That's natural selection. So what is a result of natural selection? Natural selection is something which happens. Natural variation, environment changes, and some better, some better adapted survive. It's a question of survival of the fittest. So natural selection was C. Okay, Ji, thank you very much. And I hope this has again been a helpful exercise. And uh, please do give me a feedback and do give a like if the video has helped you. And thank you very much.